I went into the practical session and I found I had no support from the lecturer and um, she wasn't in the room most of the time, demonstrate or whatever, and I was dumped in a little group with other students and uh, sort of geology is very male oriented and they were sort of very uncommunicative and all this stuff and I also felt like I stuck out like a sore thumb being a mature age student and we were confronted by maps that uh, looked very, um, quite difficult to interpret. Um, you know, everything's forestry and uh, isobars and God knows what else. So I wasn't eased into this first year unit in a way that would be very supportive and helpful for me to develop myself in that unit. Uh, I just walked out halfway through and I enrolled in another subject. Uh, the very first lecture, we were focusing on a particular app for an iPhone, and I pointed out a particular flaw with this app, uh, and how that this app is not always right, and if you ask it a question, it won't always give you the right answer. Um, so the question I like, the question I asked that, that, that I put to the teacher was that. Um, if I ask this app to find me, for example, the nearest Alcoholics Anonymous meetings, it directed me to the nearest Bottolos. <laughs> <laughs> I was then, I then had to clarify that I wasn't an alcoholic, but she insisted that I was, and that we're all very supportive in this class, and we will support you through being an alcoholic. <laughs> Needless to say, I never went back to that lecture but that's not the only bad thing about it. <laughs> uh, so, I mean, to go on, like, um, uh, through, throughout the lectures, like on the lecture notes, if a teacher ever references something, you've always got the reference there of who the author was, <coughs> the year it was written, and the name of the article that it was taken from. This teacher would just put a name of an author and a year, and I mean, there are so many people whose last name is James that wrote an article in 2005, but I was pulling up articles on science and not linguistics. Um, and another, like my final example, um, was that in one of the first lectures, she was talking about a particular topic and was asking, was, was engaging us in discussion and, and asking us to label examples. She then pulled up her examples, which I later found that week on Wikipedia. I then went to the source article, and I, I can assure you it was not an academic source. Um, yeah, probably my least favourite unit um, was just the way that the unit was set up with the assessments. It was really difficult to be able to do the assessment when we were just when we had just finished laying the material for the assessment, and also. Um, yeah, the way the lecturer conducted themselves, especially online and in the um, I, I, like the iLearn forum, and just yeah, not really going. I, I think it's really important to be able to go out of your way a bit, to, not to just go with what you absolutely have to do as a lecturer and as a tutor, but to be able to kind of go, okay, what does this student actually need me to do? What can I do to make the student's experience better? So, and that's unfortunately a little bit of that.